Hi everyone, Corey here from Tales from a Polk County Girl, and this video will be a video book review of Michael Pollan's Food Rules. This is Food Rules and Eater's Manual. Excuse me. He is the author of The Omnivore's Dilemma, In Defense of Food, Cooked, um, The Botany of Desire, and several other books that um, I either haven't read or am forgetting. This is the follow-up to In Defense of Food, where he goes through quote-unquote rules that he has come up with or learned over the years from giving lectures from In Defense of Food. Uh, it was, the copyright date on this one is 2009, so this book is eight years old. And it's a very short book. I mean, that's how big it is. I read it in two days, and that was mainly because I had to stop and go do something else. It is a very quick read. Um, it honestly could have been just a bulleted list um, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, Michael does a very good job of breaking down uh, In Defense of Food, which was... Uh, Eat food, not too much, mostly plants. As he joked in that book and at the beginning of this book, he can sum up all rules about eating in seven word, in those seven words. In this book, he takes each sentence and it's its own section, if you will, and it has between 20 and 30 rules that go with it. Uh, the sections are, and it doesn't go in order of the saying, it's part one is what should I eat? Part two is what kind of food should I eat? And um, part three is how should I eat? So eat food, so eat food, mostly plants, not too much. I mean reworded and reordered and it works very well some of the stuff um if you've read the omnivore's dilemma or have read in defense of food or watched uh his many lectures and videos on youtube some of it is it seems a little repetitive of okay michael this is the third book you've put this in but i mean when you're going to title a book Food Rules and you have 64 quote-unquote rules about food and eating, you're going to repeat yourself a little bit. Um, and I'm not going to spoil some of them for you because if you've read his, um, if you've read specifically The Omnivore's Dilemma and In Defense of Food, nothing that is in here is very surprising. Uh, this is, if I really had to classify this book, this would be the Reader's Digest version of The Omnivore's Dilemma and In Defense of Food. It really is. Uh, what I do love is, and I, I'm just going to read the last rule to you because he does talk about this. Uh, break the rules once in a while, where he quotes Oscar Wilde, everything in moderation, including moderation. So... Um, I do like how Michael has never, he has never seemed to deviate from his message and that is, and, um, he's a journalist who, you know, he really did do his research. I mean, if you read The Omnivore's Dilemma, he spent a few weeks with various farmers learning how their specific farms function and how it relates to food in America. I mean, he bought a, a steer and followed it through its life up and through when it was born and removed from its mother and sent to a feedlot right up until it got slaughtered and he received a box of steaks of said steer. So, and yeah, in, one, in Omnivore's Dilemma, he talks about going out and hunting because he's not a hunter and what that experience was like for him. So I respect Michael Pollan in the sense that he really does put his money where his mouth is. Um, so for this book, it is a quick read. I'm trying to keep the glare off of it. Uh, I do recommend it if you don't want to read The Omnivore's Dilemma, which is fairly thick. 
indefensive food isn't as i mean it's it's still kind of thick but it's but this one it's a quick read it's you can read it in a day you really can um so now i'm moving on and i wanted to get through this one and i'm really glad it actually was a quick one because his next book cooked has been sitting on my shelf for a few months and I didn't want to read that one until I would read this one so now I can go read cooked so you can look forward to that review in the coming months uh, I do recommend this book if you don't feel like reading the omnivores dilemma or food or in defense of food just read food rules it's a nice summary of those two books okay uh, information will be down in the box below on Michael Pollan's website um, the Amazon page that you can buy this at and yeah I think that's it I'll talk to you guys later